Hey guys, it's Devin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about hair care again. So I'm going to go over the best hair products for damaged hair. So if you have extremely damaged hair, whether it's from overprocessing with color or bleach, using way too much heat tools on your hair, or maybe you just don't take care of it. Maybe you're not putting any oil in it, you're not giving it any love, so it's just extremely damaged from split ends. This video's for you. So first I'm going to be talking about some shampoo and conditioners. So these are the best shampoo and conditioners for damaged hair. So the first product is from Daveness. I've talked about this product before. Daveness is my favorite, favorite company. So this is the Now Now Shampoo. And Now Now Conditioner, this is for extremely damaged hair. So it says a nourishing shampoo for highly processed or brittle hair. So if you have used way too much bleach on your hair, then this shampoo and conditioner is for you. I usually tell my clients um, that are not my clients, but have come to me from somebody else and have really just damaged, fried, bleached out hair to use this first. You want to use all of this shampoo and conditioner before you move on to something maybe not as intense. This is really, really an intense shampoo and conditioner. Again, nourishing. So that's not hydrating. That hydrating would be someone with dry hair. Nourishing is when you have fried hair. So this product is sulfate free so that's good for colored hair so if you do have colored hair that's damaged this is good for you and it's also paraben free so another shampoo and conditioner after that that's not quite as intense but still is intense is another Daveness shampoo and conditioner and this is Milu so this shampoo and conditioner again is by Daveness it's sulfate free and paraben free so it's good for your hair color and this is an anti breakage sh shampoo so it says anti breakage shampoo for longer damaged hair and it says mellow so it's not quite as intense as the now now it's a little bit of a step down I'd say this is good for somebody that has damaged hair but maybe it's getting a little bit better but maybe you still have split ends so this is what you would use after you use the now now one that's a little more intense to a little less intense but still really really good for damaged dry hair so after that, I have another shampoo and conditioner, and this is by REF. This is a Swedish line. REF stands for reference, and this is an intense hydrating shampoo. So this, again, is sulfate-free. Um, it has botanical extracts, kind of similar to the Daveness. They're kind of close in line, and um, it is used to protect, strengthen, and hydrate hair. It has coconut oil in it and quinoa protein. This product is cruelty-free, like the Daveness, and this one is also hydrating percent vegan this is a really good intense shampoo and conditioner for damaged hair so again it's not quite as intense as the now now this is like the most extreme damaged hair like you have so much breakage and limp hair from whatever you're gonna use this this one is a little less intense the smell is really great again it's sulfate free so it's gonna help keep your color and it's gonna help strengthen your hair if it's damaged so besides shampoo and conditioner, you definitely want to be using a good treatment or leave-in conditioner. My favorite treatment is definitely the Olaplex number no. 3. I've seen crazy great results with this. It's definitely one of the best treatment masks out there for damaged hair. I've seen highly damaged hair where their ends were just like mushy from a chemical reaction or from using way too much bleach. Again, not my client, but somebody else used this and it's just had crazy great results. So this is a really good treatment. Again, it's not a leave-in conditioner. It's not a conditioner. You're still going to want to have to shampoo and condition your hair after this. But you can use this one time a week, maybe two times a week if you're really, really extremely damaged. And then after that, maybe once a month. Maybe if you're somebody that's wanting to go lighter but your ends are kind of compromised already, you're going to want to use this at least once a week to kind of help get your hair healthy, balance out your pH, and continue with the lightening process. So Olaplex number three at home is really great. They do have a shampoo and conditioner. I've never tried it um, because I love all the other shampoo and conditioners that I talked about, but treatment number three, really great, yes. So after that, another leave-in that is really awesome is the Daveness 
soy milk. So this is a really great leave-in. It actually does a few different things. It's a detangler, it hydrates, it's a leave-in, it helps against frizz, and it also has heat protectant in it. So if you do have damaged hair, you should stay away from heat as much as possible. But if you have to use heat here and there, you need a heat protector. So this is really great for that. Also for an extra leave-in, which you need for your ends. If they're compromised or damaged, you need to be using something on your ends. I like to use this followed by the OI oil, which is also really great if you have damaged hair. You can also use this for any hair type, but this combo together, if your hair is damaged, is gonna work wonders it's amazing i love these two together they're definitely like my holy grail products i use these every day but i definitely recommend this for damaged hair another product for damaged hair that i do like is this superfood natural hair care coconut milk so this is a vitamin e um, supplement it has chia seed protein and argon oil in it this is a really good leave-in it's definitely doesn't take place over this but I've been using this this summer because it has a really good coconut leave-in smell so I do like it it's not quite as intense as the oil all in well one milk but it is another really great leave-in probably one of my favorite leave-ins that I've used and again this is really gonna be good for damaged hair because it's really gonna help balance the pH of your hair it's gonna give you extra moisture in there this is no sulfates and paraben free this actually has no extra colors or harsh preservatives so this is more on the natural side Davinus again and ref are a little bit more on the natural side but this is a little bit more it's definitely all cruelty free no synthetic anything and it's just a really good protein leave-in that you need if your hair is damaged so after that, the last thing that I recommend for damaged hair is the Davines Renaissance Circle Leave-In Hair Mask. So I did another video with this. It's actually with the Olaplex. It's one of my top four favorite hair masks. This one is for hopeless hair, extreme hair. So this is really good to use. You can also use this alongside of the Olaplex. This would be like a once a month really good treatment. This is more of a hair mask that you can use once a week. It's not gonna be quite as strong as the Olaplex, but it is a really great hair mask that you should be using if your hair is damaged because you need to give it some extra love and take care of those ends. So that's it. Those are the products that I recommend for damaged, extremely dry, brittle, breaking hair. Those are going to help you get your hair back to shiny, healthy, and happy. I also recommend to not use heat products as much. I know that's really hard, especially in the winter time, but extra heat on your damaged hair is just going to fry it even more. So you definitely want to try to use less heat. So if that means, you know, putting some good leave-in and oils in your hair, letting it naturally dry, and then if you have to with a flat iron, flat iron a little bit, make sure you're using a heat protector, make sure you're not turning your heat all the way up to high, no, no, no. You're just gonna be doing more damage. You definitely wanna turn your heat down low to the lowest. If your hair is damaged or extremely compromised, you wanna keep all your hair products on the lowest settings. Besides that, you can just you need to cut your hair. You need to trim it up. If you have breakage and you're not trimming your hair, it's just gonna split and you're gonna actually get more breakage. So it sucks. Maybe you went to a hairstylist and for whatever reason you ended up frying your hair or you decided to bleach your hair at home, which you should never do. You should always go to a licensed professional, but say you bleached your hair at home, it's just super damaged. You need to cut your hair. Get a cute shortcut, get some layers, get rid of those split ends because in the end, if you don't keep up on getting your regular trims and keeping your hair healthy, your hair is just gonna keep breaking. So besides that, I also recommend going to bed with your hair in a loose French braid or something low. Don't put your hair back super tight because that tightness in the rubber band is just gonna cause more breakage and that's not good. So guys, that's it for me. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope if you have damaged hair, you just stick it out, use some good products, and really get your hair healthy. Stop using bleach if you're bleaching it out too much. Just try to do your best 
and it might take six months, it might take a year, but you can get your hair back healthy. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll have more hair videos for you next time. Bye!